Good afternoon, Poke Sports, and welcome to another VTC Battle Stadium Series 2 video bringing you a Grafii team. And honestly, this team is a little mean. This team is a little mean and definitely does take advantage of best of one cheese. So what we're doing today is one of two things. There's two different strats that we can run on this team. We have the Indeed, we have the Armor Rouge, we have the Iron Bundle. Yes, this is a weak armor, Armor Rouge. So if we see they don't have too many dark types on their side of the field, we can just lead with that lead and do a lot of damage and probably win the game. The other option that we have on the team is actually Mirror Herb Grafii. Yep, that's right. Mirror Herb Grafia. Now, typically, I've been known, or I've been, uh, Grafia has been known to me as the Mirror Herb Rocker, not the Mirror Herb Receiver. So I've seen Grafia go for the Prankster Swaggers on the enemy side of the field, proc the Mirror Herb on your ally mon. I've done it with Halucha in the past, and then just take advantage from there. But why not just skip all of that and make Grafia the damage dealer? Now, I was looking at Grafia's stats. They're not the best, but they're respectable. They're very respectable, and Grafia also gets Unburden, similar to Hall Lucha. So it's like, oh, I don't think anyone's going to see this coming. And of course, we've done Swagger Mirror things, specifically the last time with the Flamigo video. So we're going to be doing it again today, and that should be a lot of fun. The Grim Snarl is here for the Swagger. We have the bundle there to proc weakness balls. We have a Great Tusk on the team because Great Tusk is kind of good or something. And then the Indeed is there for redirection and support. Now, if you guys are excited to see Grafia in the, on the channel and see a Grafia doing some damage in today's video, go ahead and hit the like button down below. And subscribe to Poke Sports if you haven't done so already. Also, a huge shout out to Patrick Keen on Reddit. I did actually end up finding this team on Reddit because it looks like a lot more people are playing some series t uh, or like revealing series three teams rather than series two teams. Because, of course, we're coming to the end of the metagame. Everyone's hiding their teams, keeping them secret. Or just starting to play Series 3 in general since, you know, we, we're out of regionals after Charlotte. So, damn, I had to go digging on Reddit to find some teams. Who would have guessed? So, I found Patrick Keane's team. Apparently, he got top 650 at this team's peak on the online ladder. So, it is very tested and very good at winning best of one. Anyway, let's get on to today's video. One, two, three ghost types. Oh, is this that triple ghost score that's running around? Okay, how does Triple Ghost deal with Grafii? I don't know. I guess we're about to find out. I could also make something happen here with Ndidi Armor Rouge. But that's not the goal for today's video, so I don't want to just do that. But it would be nice. I do think Bundle in the back is a pretty decent option. Maybe even Great Tusk in the far back. I think what I want here is a Steel Terra Great Tusk. The issue is... If and when I have to deal with this Sarah Ledge. Now, I'm assuming they're just going to lead Sarah Ledge and. Probably Sableye. I could see Sarah Ledge Sableye. Is that a problem? I mean, they're probably. What are they going to do? They're going to set up some screens, turn one, probably try to set up a bulk up, turn one as well. Flutterman bundle, never mind. They went for a super hyper double offense right away. Friend over here wasting no time at all. Wow. All right. I don't even know how to feel. I'm going to protect and I'm going to swagger. Actually, I can. I can KO the bundle before the bundle knows what happened to it. If I swagger the main. Actually, I messed that turn up. I was supposed to attack the bundle there. It's fine. Swagger in the main will still get what I want accomplished for this turn. It would get the the boot the boost not the booster energy the the unburdened proct and it would get this flutter main confused. And flutter main doesn't need to be confused. It doesn't do anything while confused. Hopefully. Why would they go with this lead? This lead seems so aggressive. I don't even know what they were thinking. Maybe they were just expecting me to do the bundle thing. So they wanted to lead with bundle and maybe lead with something that can deal damage to Arm Rouge. I don't know. Regardless, you are now swaggered. Please smack yourself. Thank you. Followed by the Mirror Herb Procking on my Grafii. 
Followed by the Unburden boost, also proccing on my Grafaya. I am a very fast Grafaya now. I should be able to outspeed the bundle, I think. They freeze dry me. Wow. Like a freeze dry and uh, maybe dazzling gleam turn? Smack yourself. That's not smacking yourself. Unfortunate. Yeah, I'm going to lose my Grim Snow. I wasn't able to get screens up. Wasn't really able to do anything there. That's a sad one. Oh, okay. Oh, I guess I go into my own bundle now. I'm going to hope that the Fluttermane... Just doesn't. <laughs> Let's hope Fluttermane doesn't. And I'm just going to go for the Poison Jab onto Bundle and then Icy Wind also onto Bundle. I'm, I also have to hope that I outspeed their Bundle. This is kind of a speed tie that we're relying on right now. So we'll see. Actually, my Poison Jab might even be able to one-shot the Bundle. Because I am plus two. The bundle does have a little bit of defense, but not like a crazy amount of defense that we can't deal with. It's not like it actually puts any investment into its defense either. Okay, double bundles on the field. Flutterman on the field. Has no idea what, what planet it's on. But somehow can still hit attacks. They withdraw Flutter, okay. Don't mind that right now. I think I went for the right target then. Sableye's coming in. I just have to make sure I keep rotating my attacks so I don't get like disable locked. Disable eyed. Um, that's okay. What I have to do now, like I said before, I have to rotate my attacks. I'm glad that I got a little bit of chip damage off on the Sableye because I think I can actually knock it out with a simple knockoff if it allows me to do so. So let's knock off there. And let's pray that a freeze dry onto their bundle is enough. It's not going to be enough to knock them out. It will do a lot of damage though. But if they just freeze dry me back then we're, we've we've accomplished nothing and we've gone nowhere we just have to realize that right now our grafaii is the scary mon on the field so let's see if the sable i just waste the turn going for the disable all right my opponent is thinking thinking here's the thing like their whole team is frail Right, so as long as... Yeah, they did go for the Sable. Okay, we're fine, though. We rotated attacks for that very reason. Knock off. Doesn't knock the Sable. It does knock the, the Light Clay off, so that could come in handy later. Oh, by a Freeze Dry. I did win the Speed Tie. Not going to be enough to knock out there, either. They're going to Encore me onto Freeze Dry, though. Again, I'm not mad. Um... I am mad that I can't poison jab though. Can you double disable? Can he like keep sitting here and disable my my Pokemon? I don't think so. I think that will fail. So I I, I could. Mm, I could go for a knockoff. Just finish the bundle. Bundle doesn't have an item though, but I think knockoff still finishes it there. Now I'm encored onto this, so I do still want to knock out the Sableye. That's whatever. As long as I knock out Sableye. Probably gonna get one screen up. Ah, <sighs> Encore Disable. Okay, so I guess I have to switch out now. Again, I'm not sure what that accomplishes. You're just wasting my time. Forcing my swap, I guess. Forcing my... My item to go away, but... Okay, yeah, I have to go for the knockoff onto the bundle, and I have to hard swap into my Great Tusk now. Thanks to the stupid Sableye! I guess having that two, those two on the same team makes a lot of sense. This team is annoying. It's not, like, broken good. It's just irritating. I'm, I'm irked right now. I'm a little bit sad that they, they, uh stopped my poison jab and they didn't stop my knockoff though i would have much rather had poison jab right now but anyway great tusk coming back onto the field i can always steel tear this later reflect ain't no way you live a plus two at that health though stab plus two yeah no way you need a miracle to live that okay 
Yeah, I think I'm going Steel Terra. On my elephant. If I go Steel Terra on elephant. Ooh. Okay. Now this complicates some things. <sighs> I know this team, and I know that that Sarah Ledge is Steel Terra. Is that what they do, though? Yeah, that's what they do, though. I'm gonna have to... Because he knows I have knockoff. So I almost want to steal Terra fighting. Oh, this is going to be a little risky. Listen. Let's try it. That's me. I should be going first, though. So hopefully... Hopefully. Hopefully, 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 hopefully. They steal Terra. This is a very risky play that I'm doing, uh, you know, first game of the day, but yes. <laughs> Got him with the read, baby. Show me the steel Terra. Grass. Oh, I, I, OK, fine, 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 fine. Worst things could have happened, right? It could have not terrestrialized. You can't disable me if I haven't attacked yet, Tom. All right, Terra Blast, fighting Terra Blast. Damage? Ah, okay. Decent damage. Headlong Rush, some more decent damage. Not a lot, but we live. We're living. We live to fight another day. When will this disable end? They bulk up. That's greedy. Again, when will this disable end, please? Does disable ever end? Like, when does this go away? Thank you. So now I have to switch my moves up, is what that means. Or I just attack into the Sableye. No, I could just switch my moves up. I could do both. Like, realistically, I could do both. That's okay. Because their disable has to go before my attack. Yeah. So they disabled my headlong rush, but I should still be able to go for the poison jab next turn, which is going to be the big one against the flutter main, and also should be able to knock out this Sableye. Good. All right. Fine. Fine, 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 fine. Who am I more concerned with right now? The Flutter main. Yes. No. Sarah Ledge. Then we heavy slam this. I have a Salt Vest, I, but I am negative one. I don't think I live one hit. I don't know how tanky this Great Tusk is. Hopefully they go for a spread move, though. Like, if we're going to have to take a hit, I'm hoping it's a Dazzling Gleam and not a Moonblast. See how greedy my opponent gets. The good news is Sarah Ledge is probably just going to go for the Shadow Sneak this turn. Nope. Nothing. Okay, cool. Poison Jab. Goodbye, Sarah Ledge. Love it. The Poison Jab is the key to victory here. I could have sworn that was Steel Terror. I might have gone against another team on ladder then. Mm, they Moonblast, but they Moonblast the wrong target. Because you know why? Because they don't. Expect the heavy slam. Whew. <laughs> heavy slam on Tusk is not bad, dude. It can come in handy. Specifically for this. Oh, that's not enough, though. All right, but I have a whole bundle at full HP left in the back. Freeze dry is all we need to win. And just like that, we're going to get a win with Grafaii. And you know what? Grafaii got set up and went to town. We love it. We love it here. Battle is canceled. Gonna take a dub in today's video. Hopefully two more dubs in today's video. Fingers crossed. Good luck, Grafia. I want Grafia to do so well. GG's. Armor Rouge in DD. Iron Bundle. Iron Hands. Fluttermane and Brute Bonnet. Okay, so... 
when you see an Ndidi, when you see an armor, when you see a bundle, you only have to assume one thing. And I'm assuming it. So I think I might have to leave with redirection here just to stop them from setting up their armors with weak armor and just sweeping my whole team. Oh, wait, hold on. I I don't. Mirror herb. Oh, mirror herb. Actually, I, maybe I don't want Grimmsnarl because indeed he will just slow me down. I'm going to do mirror herb. Yeah, Mirror Herb and Armor Rouge right away. That way we kind of prepare ourselves for if they do bring in Didi as a lead. And we also prepare ourselves for if they don't. In the back, I think I definitely want a Great Tusk. Great Tusk does a wonderful amount of damage to this, their side of the field. And in the late game, I'm going to say Iron Bundle. We're going to leave the Grimstar behind because we're just assuming. We're just assuming they are going to bring the Bundle Armor Rouge weakness policy proccing. Which would be amazing because I get to steal all those stats with Grafaya and they will never be faster because I will be unburdened. And if you guys don't know the way the unburdened works is that I get my... Oh, okay. Well, they don't even do that, so. Never mind. Uh, that's a little sad. I'm a little sad about that. Oh, well. Let's just poison jab here, I guess. <laughs> Poison Jab, Grass Terra Armor Cannon. I guess that's okay. That's like not the worst move in the world. I'm actually not in a horrible position. I just wanted to see my stats go through the roof. You know, I wanted the Mirror Herb to proc. I wanted the goodness to happen, but I guess that's just not going to happen. It's all right. Maybe next game. But I also couldn't bring my Grimstone here because of the fear of the Psychic Terrain and Deity, right? But anyway... My armor is now terrestrialized. Grass Terror coming in hot. Just in case they decide to sleep me or do anything funny. Now let's see if their bonnet decides to terrestrialize. Because it does not switch. No terrestrialization from the bonnet. Instead, just a shadow ball into my armor spot. I'm going to eat that up, thankfully. Followed by the big poison jab onto the flutter main. It's not going to be enough to knock the flutter main, but it is going to do a lot of damage. Followed by the armor cannon now into the bonnet spot. Again, about the same as the flutter main, ironically. What does Bonnet do? Spore. Oh, but Spore is the, the correct target. Why? Why Spore Grafaii? What does Grafaii do that scares you that much? All right. Um. Unfortunate. Especially for my Armorers now. I might just have to let Armorers drop. Yeah. It's sad but true. Just gonna let armors drop here. I can't afford to make the swaps. It goes for Shadow Ball again. That's actually an interesting play considering Moonblast would have been more damage, but I guess they figured it'd be fine. Or they're spexed or choiced in some fashion. Is this loaded dice? Crunch. Okay. Crunch still hurts. Good news is my bundle can come in and knock them both out, so that works. That's kind of the reason why I had to let the armors go down. Because I needed a way for my bundle to come in here safely, outspeed them, knock them both out. So all I need now is for both Icy Winds to hit, and I should be okay. I'm going to keep trying to wake here. Let's go for Protect. And yeah, Icy Winds my safest play. Safest and best play. It put me in a position to where I'm facing their final two Pokemon. I still have three whole Pokemon at a full health bar left. So I like that. I think even though we lost them on turn one, we did enough damage to their side of the field for it to be irrelevant. And to put ourselves in an optimal, an optimal position again, if we hit the icy wind. There's a big caveat in that sentence. I actually swapped the Flutter Man. That's now convincing me that they're choiced in some fashion. Armor is coming out. Didn't expect that. And you're actually going to terrestrialize the bundle. Or the bonnet. At that HP? Water Terra. It has to be, right? I don't know if you... Does it live? Maybe. I'm still asleep, sadly. 
It does, wow. And it lives by one too, huh? I hate this game sometimes. And they bullet seed me. Wow, my bundle was the only way I won and that terrestrialization is what saved them. That's not even a... It was a good terrestrialization. I can't even argue about that. I haven't lost yet. Is what I'm telling myself. Because there are still some plays to be made. I really have to wake here. In desperate need of a wake right about now. And here's the thing. I don't want to lower my special defense. <sighs> but I also don't think a knockoff is going to be enough to finish the armor. So I have to go for the headlong rush. Guys, you don't understand how much I really don't want to go for this headlong rush. Knockoff will not do it. Yeah, I have to head long rush. Rafaya does wake. That's good news. Knock off onto the brute bonnet. Double good news. Get rid of that thing. That thing was causing a lot of trouble. Thankfully, it showed us crunch, so it didn't have sucker punch to, to get one extra hit in there. Headlong rush should knock out the arm rouge. Now, all that's left is the one HP flutter main. No, they have two Pokemon left. Oh, I'm in trouble. The Flutter main still has a lot of HP. Oh, there's still a Pokemon with a full HP bar in there, isn't there? Yeah, because they led. Oh, no, this is bad. It's not going the way that I wanted. It's an Indeedy, too. GG's. NGGD is on the field. Hmm. <laughs> Not great right now. I do cop. Oh, hold on. I got Umberton boosted. Listen, I'll take what I can get. I did get Umberton boosted. They're forced to follow me. So let's see. Poison jab onto Flutter. Knockoff is not going to do any damage. I guess I'm going to try to heavy slam on the flutter as well. They do follow me. That is so sad. I didn't want the follow me to happen, but it is happening. Decent damage. I get the poison. They do have the dazzling gleam, unfortunately. My Grafia is going to live. Hold on. No, no, that doesn't matter. I needed my great test to do something there too. Ah, that was a that was an awkward game. But it all came down to my opponent making a very good prediction. And me getting the lead completely wrong, right? I got the lead completely wrong and there was nothing that I could have done there. Yeah, GG. I tried. I'm going to I'm going to see him play this out, but yeah, all they have to do is follow me and then smack me with the flutter man on the side. Okay. Fine. We're taking home a loss in today's video. That's unfortunate, but we got a win so far. Can we end off on a win? That's the question. That's the important question. Can we end off on a win? Can we end positive for the day with Grafii? Oh, Salamence. It's been quite some time. Also, whole team is weak to freeze dry, so that works for me. <laughs> That's great. That's great news. But okay, Salamence. Hi, Salamence. I think I'm just going to go Iron Bundle and Grafii right away. Actually, like, is this not the perfect time to use Iron Bundle and DD? Armourish, yeah. Oh, it's absolutely the right time. Yeah. I, maybe not, actually. Hold on. Because they do have, like, rain. So I have to be a little bit cautious about them just, like, leading rain and making me sad. I'm going to hold the bundle. I'm going to bring Grafi. I'm going to bring Grim. I'm going to bring bundle in the back. Then maybe Great Tusk is good. Because, like, look at these two on the bottom. If I can steal Terra a Great Tusk, I think I might be in a very decent spot this game. The one issue is I'm going to have to break through all the water types first. And I'm going to have to break through all the, the priority first. And all the flying types. Oh, my goodness. I got a lot of types to break through before I can get the Great Tusk going. But the good news is I can Terra. I might have to Terra. I might not have an option. Uh, another option for Terra could be the Grass Terra on the bundle. 
That could help me defensively. Specifically against the, the Palafin. But okay, scary looking team. It's been a while since I've seen Salamence. I understand Salamence is very strong. That's why part of me does not want to does not want to go against it. I didn't expect this at all though. Wow. Um Yeah, I don't know what to expect here. But I'm going to try to knock off and I'm going to try to swagger. Fingers crossed that this will work. They actually hard swap there. So ever swapping in is about to get swaggered. That's not what I want. But also that means that they're not redirecting and they're not terastalizing. So I'm about to get a plus two here on this Grafai Eye. So unless this is a sashed golden go. It's about to go down, baby. Big knockoff? Deleted from the game. That's how you get rid of Golden Go. We had a Golden Go problem. That problem's gone now. Next problem is I just gave a plus two to a dolphin. That could be very bad. Back to Amoongus we go. I'll be honest, I'm not looking forward to fighting this dolphin right now. But I think I think it has to switch again, right? That's how the dolphin works. Let's just go for the knockoff onto the Amoongus. And let's set up a reflect for now. Just in case. Battle was canceled. I that that works too. <laughs> That's all it took for you to leave? <laughs> GG's man. Kev Bob. I've never felt so connected to a person's name in my life. Um Sableye. Double Ghosties, Glamora, Moth, Palafin, and Kaiju. I see not a lot of Dark Types. I see not a lot of Redirection. I see a pretty good opportunity to go bundle Armourish and Didi and just call it a day. We got two wins with Grafaii today. One loss. But if there's a time and a place to click Armors and Didi and Bundle, I think this is the time and the place. Let's showcase the other half of the team, shall we, folks? I mean, <laughs> I did wait till the last battle to do it, but forgive me. I'm trying to get a win here. I can't let Kev Bob beat me. How could I let Kev Bob beat me? Lose to myself. You look like a Kev Bob. Kev Bob Squarepants. Not when he looks like me. <laughs> Alright, Sableye is going to be their lead. Alright. Fascinating. Um, Sableye could fake out, which is what's concerning me, but I don't think this kind of Sableye set has fake out, so I'm just going to... I'm just going to do what works. Problem is, I have to make predictions here. Are they gonna grass terra turn one? Yes, absolutely. They're gonna grass terra turn one. So I'm actually gonna armor cannon the Glamora. They light screen and they don't terra turn one. Oh my goodness, things are going bad. They're just gonna they're just gonna sit there and let the Glamora die to the expanding force. Are you kidding me? That's a little surprising. I mean, it might. If it's a Solvested, it definitely won't die. Oh, well. Well, Ndidi saved me. Please. <laughs> Please, thank you, Ndidi. Save me. At least they can't disable me anymore. See how much damage I can actually do here at plus two. Nothing at all. That is definitely a soul vested, by the way. If they somehow live this, I'll be surprised. Power gem. <gasps> wrong one, Tom. That is the wrong option. I I can't believe they. I'm getting away with this. 
Glamora has no spread moves, right? So I can just armor cannon the sable, I get rid of it. And then expanding force the rest of the time. I think so. I think I can do that. Oh, I'm so surprised they allowed me to do that. Whew, they must have not seen it coming. All right. Guys, if you're ever against an armor rouge and a bundle, don't be like Kev Bob. The Sable I might actually live all this. Nope. Never mind. All right. Even through Reflect, even through it all, Sable is going down here. And now I just click the fun button for the rest of the game. <laughs> Mortal spin. Oh, they're gonna poison me. Ugh. That's gonna That's gonna slow some things for me. Did they have any wide guard on that team? I don't recall seeing any. I am now a little faster. I don't know if mortal spin counts as a contact move, but I guess you gotta po poison me somehow. I'm losing 20 HP each poison. Okay. So that means I have one, two, two more expanding force before I go down. I have, I have a very unlucky amount of HP because I have exactly 20. I have exactly a number divisible by 20. All right. I just got to win the game in two turns. Nope. No problems, right? No issues there. It's possible. Dazzling Gleam and expanding force. They can't uh, outspeed me. They can't... Hit me with anything? Yeah, I think we're good. That's okay. They can't do that with the other one. And hopefully Bax Calibur can't do that twice. All right, Glamora's going down. Beautiful. Like I said, I have two turns of expanding force. Two whole big turns. The Gleam's going to do absolutely nothing. At least we know that, that, you know, that's not a Sol Vest, which just guarantees the fact that that Glamora was a Sol Vest in that, last, in that last turn. What is your final? I don't even think it matters at this point. I'm too juiced up. Volcarona? That gets Rage Powder, but that doesn't make a difference right now. Yeah, we Gleam again. And we expand our Force. Whew! What a day. <laughs> what a day of Pokemon. I'm sorry, guys. I, I just wanted to get a last win. I know that maybe you guys are tired of seeing me do this, but don't worry. Once Series 3 comes out, I probably won't be allowed to do this many more times. <laughs> uh, Max Hopper is actually going to Terrastalize here. What's it going to be? Water Terra. I feel like it's been a very long time since I've seen Water Terra Max Calibur, right? It's been a minute. Anyway, nice meeting you. Oh, wow, it lives. Hold on. Game's not over. And I don't think my Dazzling Gleam is enough. Especially not when I'm dead. Oh, game's not over. Am I in danger? I, I mean, I do have a bundle. If there was, if, if there was any Pokemon that I'd rather have right now, Bundle is the one that I'd want the most. I th yeah, I'm okay. I'm, I'm a little sussed out, but I'm okay. I think I just have to headlong rush one. Grass Terra, so I avoid any redirection and freeze dry back. So that should be okay. A little bit of a scary moment. Thankfully, the Psychic Terrain is still on the field, so that means that we can still... Avoid any ice shards or anything crazy onto our onto our great tusk. But unfortunately for my opponent, we also have terrestrialization. Let's see if they actually end up going for the rage powder though, because they could just come in, hit me with the heat wave, and then I lose my bundle for absolutely no reason because they hit protect. Oh, the ground's purple, Tom. The ground is definitely purple. All right, Bax is gone. I might still lose my iron bundle here. Never mind. <laughs> Volcarona doesn't have to be the great test in this situation. And 
we will be taking a third win in today's video. Not bad. Three wins, one loss in today's video. That loss felt very bad, though. It was a loss that I felt like was our fault. But nevertheless, a loss. And then the last win that we got was just hilarious. Anyway, let's go ahead, get you guys the rental. And here you have the rental code for the Grafii team. I had a lot of fun with this team. And I do like the fact that this team does have different forms and different modes that you can go ahead and do in order to succeed in taking down your opponent. We have the Grafii Grim Snarl lead. We have the Indeedy Armor Rouge Iron Bundle thing. And we also have a Great Tusk, which is probably one of the best Pokemon in the current meta and one of the Pokemon that have really just taken off in Series 2. Like, if you had to give me a Series 2 top 10, Great Tusk is at least in top 5 easily. Grafia was a lot of fun. When it works, it works. And it's actually a very good way to take care of things like Fluttermane, right? Fluttermane can't really do much to you because you resist Fairy and you resist Ghost. Like, the Fluttermane would have to wait until you terastalize in order to take care of the Grafii. So if you can outspeed it and if you can get that unburdened proct through any means, right? It doesn't have to be the swagger, but it would preferably be the swagger. Then you could just take over and roll over flutter mains. Like that's not bad at all. And of course if you have a situation where Iron Bundle and Armor Rouge are, are your are your play, you just take down the entire team that way apparently. Anyway, thank you so much Pat. Patrick Keen on Reddit for, for making this team public and allowing me to play it for you all today. Grab the Rental Code while it's out because the Rental Code has actually been out for about a month, so I have no idea how long Pat's going to keep it out for. So I would grab it if you enjoyed today's video. Just grab it, hold on to it, use it. Anyway, if you did enjoy today's video, click the like button down below and subscribe to Pokesports if you haven't done so already. I'm Kevin Sports. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great night and peace out. Bye bye.